In this video, I'm going to show you how to rank your Shopify products higher in search engines like Google, so you can start bringing in more organic traffic and start making sales for completely free without spending a penny on ads. And just to prove to you that these strategies work, if we come over to Google and I type in Olive Push-Up Bikini, you will see my store here on the first page of Google. So if we just click through over here, we can see that this is my store on the first page of Google. Now, in order for this strategy to work, you do need to be running a niche store or you need to be selling a particular category of products. So in this instance, this store is selling bikinis. So it could be pet products, it could be home appliances, it could be sports products, but basically you can't have a general store in order for this to work because you need to be ranking for particular keywords related to a specific niche. And you also need to have multiple products on your store. So if you are running a one product store, this isn't really going to benefit you. You need to have at least 30 to 50 products all optimized for a specific category or niche so that you can actually start seeing the benefit of search engine optimization and start getting your products to rank on the first page of Google. So in order to start ranking your products on the first page of Google, we will be using this Shopify app called SEO Ant. And this is an AI SEO optimizing tool. So you can do loads of different things to actually optimize your products to rank them higher in the search engine listings. And if we scroll down, you can get started for completely free with this app. And then if you want to start taking advantage of some of their more advanced features, you can always upgrade your plan accordingly. So I will leave a link in the description to SEO Ant. And if you do use the code Elliot, you can get 40% off of your SEO Ant subscription. So from here, we are just going to click on install. After you install the SEO Ant app, you will see your SEO site score and you will also see your speed score. Now, the first thing you are going to do is enable the SEO Ant app embed. So click on enable app embed and just make sure the app embed is toggled on and then you can head back to the SEO Ant dashboard. The second thing you are going to do is optimize your images. And this is actually going to help your store load quicker and when your store loads quicker, it will rank higher in search engines like Google. So click on optimize images and click on optimize now. From here, you are going to want to toggle on activate optimize images automatically. So anytime you do upload an image, it will automatically be optimized. Now you can go and edit your image optimization settings. So click on where it says settings. And from here, you can choose your image optimization settings. So you can choose image compression, which makes your images lo load faster. And you can choose which images you want to compress. So I've just chosen all product images, collection images, and blog posts. You can also go and add alt text to your images. So alt text basically adds keywords to your images. And again, this helps ranking in search engines. And then finally, you can optimize the image file names. So you are going to want to toggle this on. You can also go and add watermarks to your images as well to prevent people trying to copy and steal your images. So it's totally up to you if you want to toggle this on, but this isn't really a necessary setting when it comes to search engine optimization. You can then come back and like I say, just make sure that you toggle on activate optimize images automatically. So anytime you upload a new image, SEO Ant will optimize that image automatically. Now you can see on my store, it's already saved five megabytes of space with all of the images on my store. So now we are going to go back to our SEO Ant dashboard. So just on the left-hand side, click on the SEO Ant dashboard. And from here we can scroll down and now we can speed up our store. So we are going to click on speed up now. Now from here, you have three different options when it comes to speeding up your store. You do have the basic plan option. So you can click on one click speed up and you get an instant page speed boost. So this will help to increase your site speed. However, if you want to make the most of increasing your site speed with SEO Ant, you are going to want to upgrade your plan so you can take advantage of features like lazy loading and streamlined loading. And these are really going to make a big difference when it comes to your store's speed. And if you increase your store speed, you have an increased chance of ranking higher in Google's search listings because Google actually prioritizes websites that load fast. So I'm actually going to upgrade my plan and toggle all of these on. So we are just going to toggle these on and then I am going to click on upgrade to pre. And now that I have upgraded my plan, I can toggle on all of these extra features to speed up my store. So I'm just going to click on speed up now. I can then choose my current theme and click on speed up now. You will then see the speed up process in progress. 
So just give this a few minutes to be completed. Once that process has been completed, we can come back to our SEO and dashboard. Now the next thing we can do is actually optimize our individual products. So if we scroll down, you will see using AI to optimize on-page SEO. We can click on this and we can click on optimize now. From here, you will see each of the individual products on your store and you will see that they have an SEO score out of 100. Now you want to get this store as close to 100 as possible and you can optimize each of these for a specific keyword. So we are going to click on this product here and we are going to optimize this first product. So let's just click on this. From here, you can optimize your individual product for search engines. And this is really what's going to help the product rank in search engines like Google. So firstly, we can choose a focus keyword for our product. Now you can get SEO Ant to actually suggest a keyword. So we can click on keyword suggestion and it is going to suggest a few different keywords. Now from here, we can have a look at Google Trends to see which keywords are actually trending. So we can see, for example, over the past 12 months, the word hydrogen water bottle is starting to trend upwards again. So I might want to go and optimize my product for this focus keyword. Now we can also do a keyword search to go and see how competitive keywords actually are. So if we come back over here, I can go and copy hydrogen water bottle. I am just going to paste it in here. We can choose the country that we want to sell to. So I'm gonna choose the United States. And now we can have a look at the different competition of particular keywords. So how hard they are to actually rank for. So we're gonna go for high and click on search. And as you can see, some of these keywords will be very difficult to rank for on the first page of Google. They get a lot of average monthly searches. You can see that they are trending and that's why they're more difficult to rank for. But we can go and find some keywords that are easier to rank for and have lower competition. So if we come over to the competition, we can come and choose low and click on search. And we can see this keyword here, hydrogen water infuser. It has a decent average monthly search volume and it is starting to trend. You can see the trend is really going up. So I can go and choose this and I can go and hit apply. And now we are going to tailor our product description and all of our SEO around this particular keyword so we can try and rank for this keyword. So now we've got our product title. And from here, you'll start to get advice from SEO Ant about how you can actually optimize your product description and titles so that you can improve your search engine listings. So as you can see here, it says target keyword should be included. So instead of having my title as hydrogen infused water bottle, I could have hydrogen water infuser bottle. So what I can do is, I am just going to delete this hyphen. We will go and cut water and paste it here. And instead of having infused, we will have infuser. So now we have hydrogen water infuser bottle for optimal hydration. And we should see this turn green. So now that that has turned green, we can focus our attention on the description. Now we, can, we have a description in here already. You can go and edit the description. So if we just highlight this, you can use the AI optimization tool to actually go and edit your description. So if we click on rephrase, we can go and choose the tone that we want to rephrase our description to. So I'm just gonna choose expert. There are a few other ones in here and you can go and add special instructions. So I've just said optimize for the keyword hydrogen water infuser and we can click on rephrase. So you will get credits depending on what plan you are on with SEO Ant. So you can see I've got two credits here. You will then see the optimized content and you can click on use it. Now you will see over here that there are a few other pieces of advice related to Google search engine optimization for this product that we can follow. Now what I recommend to do in this situation is use ChatGPT. So we can see there are a few pieces of advice that we need to adhere to to improve our search engine optimization for this product. So firstly, the keyword needs to appear in the first paragraph. We need to have a heading two or a H2. The keyword should be in one of the H2s. We need to add one to four pictures and the description should be at least 150 words. So what we can do is we can come over to ChatGPT and I've just said, can you write a Shopify product description optimizing for the keyword hydrogen water infuser? Because that is the keyword that we chose to optimize for, the focus keyword. And then I've just said, the description should have a heading two that includes the keyword. The keyword should be in the first paragraph. The description should be at least 150 words split into four paragraphs and the keyword should be in every paragraph. Now this is just an extra bit that I put in, but as long as you adhere to the advice that SEO Ant is giving you, 
you should be able to create a product description that adheres to this advice. So it has just come up with a product description here. So I'm just going to copy this now. So what we can do is we can copy this. We can head back to our product description. And what we're going to do is we are just going to paste this in here like this. So now if we just click to the side, we can see that we're getting some green lights when it comes to the SEO advice. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to highlight this and I am going to turn this into a heading two. So now if we scroll down, we can see that we need to add one to four pictures and we can also see description every 100 words should include one to two keywords. So we can go back to ChatGPT and we could say, make it so every 100 words includes the focus keyword. And then we can just rewrite the description again. So now we are just going to rewrite it again and we can simply copy it. Of course, read through the description so it actually makes sense and it is talking about the benefits and features of your particular product. And if you are happy with it, again, we can come back over here and we are just going to paste this one in here. And again, we will come to the top and we will just go and make this a heading too. So now if we scroll down, we can see that we're getting more green lights. Now, not every single piece of Google SEO advice has to be green. As long as you don't have any reds and most of them are green, you can have some yellow ones within your description as well. So we're just trying to get it as close to 100 as possible. So currently we're on 86. Now what we can do next is we can add some images to our description. So we can just toggle down under one of these paragraphs. If you click on the three dots, you can click on this insert image. So we are just going to click on this, we will click on upload, and then we will go and find an image. Now, when you are uploading these images, I do recommend to have the focus keyword in the title of the image. So you can see I've got hydrogen water infuser here as well. So then we are just going to open this and where you have your alternative description, I recommend to put in your focus keyword again, and we can click on save. So now we have that image, we can scroll down. I am going to add another image. So this time I will add it under this paragraph here. So again, we can upload an image and I am going to choose this second image that also has the focus keyword, hydrogen water infuser and click on open. Again, you can add the focus keyword to the alternative description and click on save. So now if we scroll down, you can see that we are getting more green ticks. And if we scroll up, we can see that our SEO score for this particular product is pretty high. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. So if we scroll down, we can see that there are a few other pieces of advice. So it says the longest paragraph should be no more than 70 words. So we can come back to ChatGPT and again, we can optimize this. So we can say the longest paragraph should be no more than 65 words. I know they said 70 on SEO Ant, but sometimes ChatGPT can be a little bit weird. So I've just removed five extra words. Then we can hit go again. So now again, you can copy this and paste it in your description within SEO Ant, and you should see that this turns green. Now, if we scroll down, we're going to see this search engine listing. And again, you are going to want to optimize this as well. So you'll see here the URL should contain the target keyword. So we can go and change the URL. So we can click on edit. And if we scroll down, we will see the URL here. So we can go and change this to hydrogen water infuser like this. Just make sure there aren't any unnecessary spaces and then we can click on save. Next up, you will see the meta description should be between 120 and 200 characters. So if we actually click on the meta description, it's taken directly from the product description. So we can go back to ChatGPT and we can say, rewrite this as a meta description for Google, no more than 190 characters. And we can just hit go. Now we can copy this. We can head back to SEO Ant and we can paste this in here and we can click on save. Once you have saved that, if we scroll up, we can see that our product SEO score is on 98 now. So there are a few small things I can do. So for example, I could change this. I didn't repaste in the description to make sure that each paragraph wasn't longer than 70 words. And I could also go and optimize it by including keywords every 100 words. But we've got a pretty high score here. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to repeat that process for every single product on your store. Now, I know that might sound super time consuming, but this is what's actually going to help you see the benefits. SEO is a long term strategy. It can take a few months to kick in. So you can work on a few products on your store every day and get them to the highest score possible. And as you start optimizing these products more often, 
you will be able to streamline the process and you will be able to speed things up. So like I say, you're going to want to do this for every single product on your store. So all of your products have an SEO score of at least 95 and above. And then eventually after a few months, Google will start to recognize this and you will start to see more organic traffic. Now you can also create a blog post based on this product if you want to. And again, this does help to improve the SEO on your site because you'll have blog posts on your store and they can actually get ranked within Google as well. So if somebody clicks on the blog post, then they come through to your store, they may also then go and start looking at some of your store's products. So this is how you can actually optimize your particular products. We are going to close this now, and now we can go back to the SEO and dashboard. And if we scroll down, you will see learn bulk edit meta tags. So we are going to click on this and click on set meta tag rules. Again, this just helps to improve the search engine optimization for certain pages on your store. For example, your product pages, your collection pages, and your blogs. So you can just go and toggle these on as well to improve your SEO. Then you can come over to link management. So this will help you to fix any broken links on your store. This will also help you to get backlinks to your store as well. So backlinks are where web websites with authority link to your store. So this actually signals to Google that your store is trustworthy and an authority in your niche. So again, this will help you to rank higher in the search engine listings. So this is something that you could potentially use. You can have a look at both of these. You also have keyword research. So this will help you to explore and discover keywords related to your store and keywords that you can try to rank for for your particular products, similar to what we've done earlier when we were trying to optimize our product page and product titles. And if you come over to report, you can see an overall snapshot of particular keywords that you are trying to rank for. So if I click on on page keywords, you can see that I'm trying to rank for hydrogen water infuser. So as you start to optimize more of your products on your store, you will be able to see the keywords that you are trying to rank for. Now, finally, if we come over to SEO checker and from here, you will see your overall SEO site score. So again, you want to get this as close to 100 as possible, and you will see all of the possible issues that can be fixed regarding SEO for your store. So you can simply click on one click fix. And from here, you can choose all of the possible fixes that SEO Ant can fix for you to improve your store's SEO. So I'm just going to click on save and fix. And once that has been completed, you can click on OK. And then you will see your SEO site score start to increase. So from here, you can start making your way through the checklist and making all of the fixes to any issues that you have. So for example, if we come into search appearance, I can come into the meta description where it says unoptimized. I can click on fix now and I can go and fix all of these issues. So I recommend checking out the SEO checker to increase your SEO site score and get it as close to 100 as possible. So as you can see, mine is increasing. I'm already on 88. And that is essentially it when it comes to improving your Shopify store's SEO rankings and getting your products ranked on the first pages of Google so you can start bringing in more organic sales. I will leave a link in the description to SEO Ant. And if you use the code Elliot, you can get 40% off of your SEO Ant subscription. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.